good morning dear students we shall discuss a few problems on non homogeneous differential equations already we have been discussing in this topic uh, since uh, beginning that is for homogeneous equations and uh, how to find out the roots and we are now moving on to the non homogeneous equations and already we have been studying the first two cases right side uh, in the case of non homogeneous equations as exponential term and uh, next is a trigonometric functions i shall continue few more problems on trigonometric functions and then the uh, another uh, case of uh, rhs value that is x to the power m that is polynomial terms i shall take uh, another example on the trigonometric function in the case of non homogeneous differential equation solve d square minus 4d plus 3 operating on y equal to sin 3x into it is cos of 2x <coughs> as as usual you know that this is to be written as a general solution then general solution consists of two different solutions one is complementary function and the another one is particular integral complementary function it takes the solution with a reference to the lhs of the problem and uh, particular integral takes the solution with respect to the rhs of the problem uh the general form of the non homogeneous equation is f of dy is equal to it is x of x so when x of x is equal to either sin ax or cos ax so in this form we are studying now this is under uh, the uh, linear differential equations with constant coefficients because these are the constant coefficients to the derivative terms now here it is a product of two terms but this is to be taken as individual term <coughs> this is nothing but sin a into cos b you have to take the trigonometric formula what is the expression for sin a into cos b product and then you can write in the individual uh, trigonometric function so that formula you have to write so that formula you know that from the trigonometric uh, relations that is starting from sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 like that and 1 plus tan square is equal to secant square 1 plus uh, cot square is equal to cosecant square then sin a into cos b sin a into sin b cos a into cos b co and cos a into sin b here the formula is sin a into cos b in the solution we have to use we use sin a into cos b is equal to 1 by 2 it is sin of a plus b plus of sin of it is a minus b actually this is your formula why we are using this formula because uh, the, uh, the given right side value it is a product of two terms that is sin and cos where we must expect only single term either sin ax or cos ax therefore we will release this product in this form hence <coughs> that is sin 3x into cos of 2x is equal to 1 divided by this we will call it as sin summation plus sin difference sin summation this should be sin of 3x plus of another angle it is 2x this is a summation and plus of it is sin of difference difference means a minus b that is 3x minus of 2x this much is that totally four different formulas in this cos between cos and sin you have studied four different formulas sin a into sin b cos a into cos b sin a into cos b cos a into sin b like that four formulas but here the situation is uh, sin 3x into cos 2x you can you can take in any one of the two options one option is as it is you can take and another option is that is putting cos first and then sin next therefore sin a into cos b otherwise cos a into sin b but sin a into cos b takes this formula then we will write this one as simplification that is nothing but sin 5x and plus of plus of sin x sin 5x plus of sin x hence the given problem given problem is that is d square minus 4d plus 3 operating on y 
is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by sin 5x and plus of it is sin of x is there. That is 1 by 2 sin 5x and sin of x is there. Now, what is the general solution? As usual, you are going to write general solution as y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. So, for yc, that means cf and plus of pi, right? Come either this symbol you can use or uh, this type of uh, writing you can take. That is yc means complementary function. <coughs> uh, that is uh, for complementary function, you have to write auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation means what is that? Replace d by m, m square minus 4m and plus 3 <coughs> equal to 0. That is m square minus 4m plus 3 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. This quadratic equation has got two roots, then two factors. Then you have to write two factors. Therefore, 3m square can be written as that is minus uh, 3 and minus 1. Therefore, m square minus of 3m and minus of m and plus 3, you can split like this. This gives us minus into minus that is 3 into m square. Therefore, m into m minus 3 and minus 1 into that is m minus 3. Uh, sorry, m plus 3 <coughs> uh, minus if you take then leaving uh, this sign as minus, okay. m minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, m minus 1 into m minus 3 equal to 0. This gives the values m is equal to 1 and <coughs> it is plus of 3. Therefore, uh, the complementary function uh, solution yc therefore yc <coughs> equal to there are two numbers means are uh, two roots here uh, m1 and m2 c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 3x hope you are following this uh, procedure because right from the beginning we have been doing even for uh, uh, homogeneous equation and for non homogeneous equation how to find the roots and what type of roots are there <coughs> here roots are roots are real and different <coughs> roots are real and different means these numbers are coming in the real number system we call that and these are not imaginary numbers these are real numbers hence roots are real and different means two different solutions that means c1 y1 plus c2 y2 y1 is e to the power x and y2 is e to the power 3x this is complementary function for particular integral that is yp for particular integral we use uh, inverse differential operator inverse differential operator means you are shifting this uh, derivative part to the denominator on the right side let yp let yp is equal to this is 1 by 2 you can keep it out outside the operator then 1 divided by it is d square right minus 4d and uh, plus 3 this one plus 3 operating on <coughs> this is sin 5x and plus of it is sin of x is there you have two trigonometric functions one is sin 5x and the another one is <coughs> sin x is there now according to trigonometric functions uh, you have to replace the value of d square from both the trigonometric functions whenever it is sin uh, ax or cos ax replace d square by minus a square what is the value of a a is equal to 5 here and a is equal to 1 in the second case then <coughs> replacing this is 1 by 2 is multiplied to both the terms then this must be replaced with this number first and next number is this one yp is equal to 1 by 2 and uh, this must be taken as 1 divided by d square by minus 5 square minus 5 square minus 4d and plus 3 
as it is operating on sin 5x okay this is one case and plus of 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 I am taking here and replacing that is by minus 1 square 1 divided by <coughs> that is minus 1 square minus 4d and plus of 3 this is there and operating on it is sin x operating on sin x then this is 1 by 2 simplification minus 5 square minus 25 it is 25 minus 25 plus 3 that is minus 22 that is uh, 1 divided by 1 divided by minus 22 minus 4d right minus 22 minus 4d operating on sin 5x first term and this is minus 1 square becomes minus 1 and plus 3 that becomes uh, 1 by 2 1 by 2 multiplication along with that uh, here inside that is minus 1 plus 3 so 1 divided by 2 minus 4d operating on sin x operating on sin x then <coughs> You can take this value to be operated here itself I will write that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 uh, this is minus 22 you can take minus sign outside uh, and then this is to be operated minus 22 minus uh, minus 22 minus 4d becomes plus 22 1 divided by it is 22 and uh, that is plus of 4d operating on sine of <coughs> 5x and plus of 1 by 2 uh, multiplied by that is 2 is there uh, that becomes 1 divided by it is 2 minus 4d operating on sine of x that should be there then you can write yp as it is you can't operate but you can take even some number also you can take here 2 outside and here also 2 outside I will write for the simplified form should be 1 by 4 and uh, multiplied by 1 divided by uh, if you take 2 outside 11 and minus uh, sorry plus of it is 2 along with minus sign there is a minus sign 11 plus 2d this one in place of 4d operating on sine of 5x right and plus of plus of 1 by 4 there also I am taking 2 as a common factor then uh, this must be 1 divided by should be 1 minus 2d operating on sin x and then close the bracket <coughs> there are two terms that you have to handle minus 1 by 4 and multiplied by that is 11 minus 2d and divided by 11 plus 2d and multiplied to 11 minus 2d operating on sine of 5x this is first term then plus of 1 by 4 and inside the bracket this is over and inside the bracket 1 minus 2d is there as it is we can't operate then you have to rationalize as I did here rationalizing the denominator with the opposite sign that is 1 plus 2d uh, in place of 1 minus that is 1 minus 2d into that is 1 plus 2d so 1 plus 2d into 1 minus 2d in the denominator that is sine of x is there right then uh, this becomes uh, minus 1 by 4 and multiplied by 11 minus uh, 2d 
and denominator 121 because 11 square 121 and minus of 4 d square minus of 4 d square that is to be operated on it is sine of 5x and then plus of 1 by 4 plus of 1 by 4 plus of 1 by 4 and uh, numerator 1 plus 2d and denominator that is 1 minus 1 square that is minus 2 square 4 it is d square operating on sine of x is there operating on sine of x is there that is once again d square you will be replacing by minus 5 square that is 25 then minus 1 by 4 that should be minus 1 by 4 that should be 11 minus 2d and replacing 120 uh, replacing d square with this value minus a square minus 4 into this becomes plus sign that is into 25 that is 25 means 5 square in place of d square minus of 5 square so minus 5 square you are going to multiply for 4 that is 4 into minus into minus that becomes plus sign therefore it is sine of 5x to be operated with this value then plus of 1 by 4 1 plus 2d and then this is once again now uh, you have to replace my by minus 1 square minus minus plus this becomes 5 that is sine x right so sine 5x and sine x there are two terms uh, in the denominator it is a constant minus 1 by 4 this is for yp uh, 11 minus uh, that means it is a constant into 1 divided by this is 25 into 4 means 100 that is 220 uh, 100 plus 121 that is 221 you can write and inside the bracket 11 minus 2d should be operated on sine of 5x right sine of 5x plus 1 divided by 4 into 5 it is 20 then inside the bracket 1 plus 2d this should be operated on sine of x is there then so what you are going to do next instead of uh, uh, writing the inverse differential operator keeping that uh, operator in the denominator but we brought it to the numerator here it is in the numerator here it is in the numerator now you have to differentiate that is equal to minus sine 1 divided by 4 into 1 4 4 into 2 8 and then 8 minus 1 divided by 884 and uh, multiply to 11 into sin x that is sin of 5 x that is 11 multiplication and 2d that means once differentiation sin becomes 5 times of cos this becomes minus of 10 5 into 2 that becomes 10 then it is cos of 5x this is the final uh, term of the final value of the first term then uh, plus of 1 by 20 plus of 1 by 20 uh, then you can take it as sin x into 1 multiplication and plus of this is sin x gives us cos x that is 2 times of cos x this is your value of y, y p therefore y is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 3x is your yc and plus this value uh, that means minus 1 divided by 884 11 sin 5x minus 10 cos 5x and plus 1 by 20 multiplied by it is sin x plus of 2 times it is cos x this is the value this is the final answer you will call it as general solution this is called general solution like this whenever uh, product type trigonometric functions are given on the right side you have to reduce to the individual form because you have the procedure and guidelines of this topic uh, either cos ax or sin uh, ax cos ax plus b or sin ax plus b right if uh, that is the form then only you can go for the further steps 
uh, of operating the inverse differential operator. So, this is a general solution uh, which includes two arbitrary constants which do, does not include the arbitrary constants in the particular integral. So, we will move on to the next uh, another uh, type of uh, problem in the same topic. that is d square plus of d plus 1 operating on y is equal to 1 minus e to the power of x whole square. 1 minus e to the power of x whole square. Here, uh, this is right side uh, as it is you cannot take for operating the exponential term, but you have to expand that is a minus b whole square form. Then general solution uh, define general solution as y is equal to y c plus it is y p. Then for y c, for y c we have the auxiliary equation. What is the auxiliary equation? m square plus m plus 1 equal to 0. Then uh, this is m square plus m plus 1 is equal to 0 means m is equal to minus 1 plus minus root of b square that is 1 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 that is 4 ac divided by 2 into 1. Then m takes the value minus 1 plus or minus plus or minus 1 minus 4 means root of minus 3 and divided by it is 2 then m is equal to that is <coughs> first uh, term is uh, with uh, minus sign and multiply that minus sign with the existing value therefore that is equal to m is equal to minus 1 by 2 and dividing by these two and plus or minus that is i into root 3 by 2. This is m is equal to alpha plus or minus i into beta. Therefore, the complementary function takes the imaginary roots. Therefore, y c takes the value c 1 e to the power minus 1 by 2 x uh, cos of this is root 3 by 2 into x and plus of it is c 2 then e to the power minus 1 by 2 x into sin of that is root 3 and divided by 2 into x. This is your uh, complementary function that is c 1 into e to the power minus 1 by 2 x and cos of root 3 by 2 into x plus c 2 into e to the power minus 1 by 2 x and sin of root 3 by 2 into x. This is for imaginary roots. <coughs> then for <coughs> y p you have to take inverse differential operator that is y p is equal to 1 divided by it is d square plus d and plus 1 to be operated on this expansion. I will take this as a minus b whole square that is 1 <coughs> minus 2 into e to the power x and plus of e to the power of x whole square that is e to the power 2 x you can write. Then here this is as good as a uh, uh, constant which is multiplied by that is e to the power 0 x that should be uh, d square plus d plus 1 operating on uh, that is 1 into e to the power 0 x minus 2 into 1 divided by d square plus d plus 1 to be operated on e to the power x this one that is with minus and plus another term is plus of 1 by d square plus d plus 1 and uh, to be operated on to be operated on that is e to the power 2x. So, whenever the exponential term is there then what you are going to uh, introduce in the inverse differential operator means you are going to replace d by a you know, provided that uh, value is not going to become 0. <coughs> then here a is 0 in this case and a is 
1 in this case and here a is equal to 2. Therefore, you have 3 terms uh, with uh, 0 that is d equal to a equal to 0 that should be 1 by 1 into 1 and minus of 2 into you are going to replace d is equal to 1 d equal to a equal to 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is 3 2 by 3 e to the power x and plus of this is d equal to 2 4 here d equal to a equal to 2 you are giving that is d square means 2 square 2 square becomes 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 therefore 1 divided by 7 e to the power 2x this is your yp then uh, <coughs> general solution general solution takes yc plus yp then yc uh, is nothing but this much c1 e to the power half x into cos of root 3 by 2 x plus c2 e to the power minus half into x sin root 3 by 2 into x and plus of 1 minus <coughs> 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 e to the power x and plus 1 by 7 e to the power it is 2x. So, this is your general solution and one more example I will take and then I will conclude this topic. Uh, that example is with uh, another uh, type of uh, term that will be solving with the uh, second degree of trigonometric function. Uh, solve uh, this is the term d square plus of 3d plus of 2 operating on y is equal to 4 times it is cos square x and here initial conditions are given with y equal to 0, y dash is equal to 1 and at x equal to 0. So, this is the uh, new problem, new type of problem because trigonometric function is not with first degree and also the initial conditions are given. So, you have to solve this problem by writing same type that is uh, general solution as uh, combination of uh, complementary function plus particular integral. So, let us see how this complementary function behaves in this problem. Uh, to say that complementary function, first you have to write the general solution equation that is uh, gs is equal to y, y is equal to uh, yc plus yp. That is the first step, compulsory step you have to write before going to the uh, auxiliary equation. The first step in the solution is let y is equal to yc plus of yp. yc plus of yp means that is complementary function plus particular integral for complementary function that is for yc you have to write m square plus 3m plus 2 that is equal to 0. So, what are the roots directly can you get it because 2 into m square is uh, 2m square but 3m you can split as 2m plus m. So, directly you can write that m plus 1 into m plus 2 you can get the factors directly because 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 here. So, exactly it matches those are the two factors by direct inspection method we can get it. Then this you can take it as m is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to it is minus 2. What kind of roots these values represent? I hope you can understand uh, you can uh, immediately write that uh, statement roots are real and different. Roots are real means these two numbers are coming in the real number system and uh, they are not equal to each other. They are not equal to each other means minus 1 is not equal to minus 2. Therefore, these are real and different. Real and different. Therefore, we can write complementary function yc is equal to c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power minus of it is 2x that is the complementary function. Now, for yp as usual you proceed to calculate the value of yp. What you have to do? Inverse differential operator you have to use. Okay. Here 
let y be is equal to 1 divided by d square minus uh, uh, no plus of 3 d d square plus 3 d plus 2 uh, should be operated on 4 cos square x 4 cos square x therefore cos square x is not uh, the term which we can uh, continue for the next step because it is it is with second degree but the formula is only for first degree therefore we use that uh, cos 2a formula we have what is that equation cos of 2a is equal to 2 times it is cos square a minus 1 we want only cos square a that is cos square a can be written as cos square a can be written as shifting this one to the other side 1 plus cos 2a and this coefficient will come to the denominator so that we can replace <coughs> yp that is equal to 1 divided by it is d square plus 3d plus of 2 uh, and then 4 also you can take outside but here 1 plus cos of 2x uh, divided by it is 2 in place of cos square a a means x that is 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2 therefore these two cancels then this is equal to 1 divided sorry sorry 2 into 1 divided by it is d square plus 3d and plus of 2 to be operated on 1 into e to the power 0x I treat this one as multiplication of e to the power 0x because e to the power 0x is 1 then plus of it is cos of 2x then individual term if you take then here a is equal to here a is equal to 0 and here a is equal to plus 2 so it is a combination of exponential term and a trigonometric function in the case of exponential term the denominator we are taking with the replacement of a but uh, in the trigonometric function we replace this d square by minus a square then that is 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 1 divided by it is d square for example here a is equal to 0 that means d equal to a equal to 0 d equal to a equal to 0 for these two terms and leaving the coefficient only 2 then it should be uh, multiplied by 1 only that is into 1 and plus of plus of 1 divided by this much a is equal to 2 you have to replace that by 1 divided by minus of 2 square plus of 3d and plus of 2 operating on cos of it is 2x right so cos of 2x means that should be uh, with the inverse differential operator left side uh, left side it is yp and right side it is first term with exponential and second term with trigonometric function and here once again d remains this two cancels here okay then 1 plus of 1 divided by this is to be operated as inverse differential operator it is minus 4 plus 2 that must be minus 2 plus of it is 3d okay then it is to be operated on cos of 2x then I will take minus sign outside here 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus it is 3d into cos of 2x that is not multiplication but it is to be operated now so once again you have to rationalize that uh, denominator so by rationalizing the denominator you can expect uh, by avoiding that uh, d in the denominator and expecting in the numerator for differentiation that is what we did in the previous problem also and in this problem also we will be doing the same thing okay then what is the rationalization that is 1 minus 2 plus 3d and divided by it is uh, 2 minus 3d into 2 plus 3d this is in another bracket then it is operating on cos of 2x <coughs> it is operating on cos of 2x therefore uh, yp the particular integral 
uh, is equal to particular integral is equal to uh, what is that value that is 2 plus numerator 2 plus 3d and denominator it should be 4 minus 9 square it is d square operating on cos of 2x this is what your trigonometric function then yp is equal to 1 minus this is to be operated yes what is the denominator here d square should be replaced by 2 square with minus sign that is 2 plus 3d and denominator that is 4 is there and minus 9 minus this replacement is minus that becomes plus sign 9 square into that is 2 square okay cos of it is 2x so yp that is equal to 1 yp is equal to 1 1 minus of 1 minus of 2 plus 3d divided by that is 4 right plus of 81 into 4 4 plus of 4 that is 324 4 8s are 32 4 1s are 4 and plus 4 if you add that becomes 328 so 328 is the simplification in the denominator then you can operate this on cos of 2x that is equal to 1 minus 2 plus uh, 3d 1 minus 2 plus 3d uh, which is to be operated for differentiation uh, with this value whole divided by 328 that is cos of 2x therefore cos of 2x 1 minus 1 by 328 and multiplied by 2 is multiplied to cos 2x you can write cos 2x and differentiation that is cos 2x differentiation is minus of sin 2x minus of 2 sin, uh, sin 2x leaving the coefficient as 2 outside that makes as minus of 6 times sin of it is 2x <coughs> this is for yp therefore y is the general solution that is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 2x uh, I think uh, you have taken with minus minus for the roots and plus of this yp 1 minus 1 divided by 328 multiplied by cos 2x cos 2x and minus that is 6 times it is sine of 2x so this is your final answer like this you can solve some problems on non-homogeneous differential equation with uh, trigonometric function on the right side. Now we will move on to the next method, uh, next application that is once uh, polynomial terms how they behave you know, on the right side for the case of non-homogeneous differential equation. Okay, Let us start that uh, right side uh, which is uh, not 0 in the case of uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficients but if it is only the polynomial if it consists of only the polynomial terms that is rule 3 already two rules we have completed now this is rule 3 that is f of d y is equal to x to the power m that is actually x to the power uh, uh, sorry x of x that is equal to x to the power m that means x to the power m is polynomial with various degrees x to the power 1 x to the power 2 x to the power 3 like that so far we have not come across uh, such terms uh, are appeared for finding the integrating sorry for finding the particular integral that means complementary function uh, is usual uh, type of calculation for all the methods complementary function which is responsible for the LHS of the problem but particular integral this part is uh, differs from uh, uh, method to method this this is coming in rule 3 that is polynomial term x to the power m is there that is x to the power m is you will be getting in terms of a small x that is uh, x to the power 0 x to the power 1 x to the power 2 maybe summation maybe difference or maybe combination of both summation and difference okay uh, what is the procedure we are going to adopt in uh, uh, 
polynomial terms when we come across on the right side. So that we have to understand and then we shall take few examples on this method. Then uh, we can use this for uh, the application on this on this method as a continuation of differential equations that is method of variation of parameters. Now for this uh, algebraic term how we have to take and what is the uh, suggestion it is given in this method. Let us see uh, the first uh, case there are two values which we, we will come across on the right side that is for the uh, inverse differential operator. Anyway the solution method is first of all solution method is as usual the same step let y equal to yc plus yp is equal to cf plus pi pi be the solution. This is the compulsory step and it is mandatory for all the problems. Now for yc also it is compulsory for yc for yc we take auxiliary equation we take auxiliary equation and obtain the roots obtain the roots then accordingly what type of roots we are getting the roots are real and different roots are real and uh, repeated and roots are imaginary so accordingly we will write the solution that is auxiliary equation which will be for LHS of the problem then for yc yp for yp means we take yp is equal to 1 divided by f of d operating on this term x to the power m this is your yp which may consist of that means any one of uh, two different forms we are going to use those two different forms consists of the application consists of the application of binomial theorem binomial theorem concept what is that binomial theorem concept so if you have 1 plus d form that is minus 1 is equal to 1 minus d plus d square minus d cube and plus so on this is one uh, type which we can expect and 1 plus d whole to the power minus 2 this is 1 minus 2d this is contributed by the binomial theorem 1 minus 2d plus of 3 times it is d square 4 times it is d cube and plus so on. So any one of these forms will fall when we are going to calculate uh, for the polynomial term in the case of non-homogeneous differential equation. That means right side uh, it is necessary to find out the particular integral after finding the complementary function. Okay. So these things you must remember even if it is uh, in the form of minus you can put it in the form of plus sign so accordingly that minus sign will be multiplied to the problem so let us take uh, the example on this application how this uh, polynomial term can be expanded okay so first uh, problem we will take on this application as one or two problems if you understand with the power minus 1 with the power minus 2 it is just like stereotype for all the problems you can apply the same procedure. Let me start with a simple example how this uh, procedure can be applied solve d square solve d square plus uh, uh, 3d plus 2 operating on y is equal to x square plus 1 this is your polynomial term how uh, how I will choose the problems for discussion here Ind independently polynomial terms I will take then uh, like uh, one or two terms then three terms four terms then afterwards 
I shall take uh, the combination of the previously studied rule 1 and rule 2 along with this rule 3. That means in the rule 1 we studied on the right side as exponential term. In the rule 2 we have studied uh, on the right side as cos Ax or co sin uh, Ax and in the rule 3 that is polynomial term. So now we study the individual term like uh, polynomial term alone on the right side and later we will study the uh, expect, uh, expecting all the three terms means exponential trigonometric function and polynomial terms on the right side in order to find out the value of this particular integral. Your main focus, your main uh, work is on calculation of particular integral. That is complementary function, uh, it, it refers only to the left side and comfortably you can write by writing this auxiliary equation whereas this particular integral takes very important steps. Uh, you have to analyze what kind of terms are given on the right side and what kind of uh, uh, so rearrangement you have to make in order to carry out the solution procedure. <coughs> Here second degree term and uh, this is only the constant. Here left side is quadratic equation. So quadratic equation means second degree term that is second degree if you consider but according to this it is a derivative that means so, uh, number 2 means it is a second order and for the degree means it is uh, degree as second degree. Okay. So, uh, this will be as usual will be written for auxiliary equation in order to write this complementary function whereas particular solution let us see this one is going to be utilized or this one is going to be utilized. So, which one depends on uh, your simplification of this part how we are going to analyze we will verify that in the solution let y is equal to yc plus of yp be the general solution. This is called general solution. Now for yc we write the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation means replacing d by m. We write the auxiliary equation. So uh, that we will write it as m square plus of 3m plus of 2 that is equal to 0 then so this must be m plus 1 into again it is m plus 2 as we did in previous problem coincidentally the same function is appeared here that is m plus 1 into m plus 2 uh, that is equal to 0 because 2 into 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 therefore it is the quadratic equation which you can expect a two different factors and one is not equal to the another therefore m is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to it is minus of 2 therefore yc can be taken as c1 e to the power minus x and c2 e to the power minus of 2x this is your complementary function that means uh, yc either cf you can represent or you can represent it as that is yc then what is the next part let yp the particular integral is equal to 1 divided by one divided by what it is it is d square and uh, plus of it is 3d 3d d square plus 3d plus of 2 in the denominator to be operated on should be x square plus 1. You write this one as polynomial term. Polynomial term. Otherwise in terms of variable x, variable x or polynomial term you can write either in the increasing powers or in the decreasing powers you can discuss. Okay. So this is in the decreasing powers because x to, x to the power 2 and 1 into x to the power 0 that is 1 into x to the power 0 means it is in the decreasing powers. So, up to here I would like to stop now then I shall continue the same problem in the next discussion uh, that is on polynomial term application as inverse differential operator. Thank you.